The month of July is almost over. August 1st hits on Thursday. So if you guys want to help us win this subscriber battle throughout the month of July, now is the last chance to do so. We are under 100 subscribers away from taking first place, beating Steelers Talk, who has 687 new subscribers this month. Oh, we have 606. Go on ahead, hit that sub button, help us win this month-long battle, and be up to date with everything you guys need to know with your New England Patriots. Is Matthew Judon officially done with New England? Why do I say that? Because there are several reports that came out from day five NFL training camp, not to mention several videos that have surfaced on Twitter that show Matthew Judon having an animated conversation on the sidelines that he was not happy with. So we're going to talk about Matthew Judon, what he showed, and what kind of distraction it brought to the New England Patriots training camp. We're also going to talk about Devon Gottschall, who also seemed to have a similar mindset to Judon, but it wasn't to the full extent. I am your host, Ali Berry, for the Patriots today by Chat Sports, and Matthew Judon did not participate on the first full day of pads. And in my opinion, when you get into your complete set of pads, football is back. This is where you really get to see who is thriving, who is falling behind, what areas you need to work on. And with Matthew Judon not participating, not to mention only played four games last season in full pads. We have yet to see him in full pads in the, in the year of 2024. So what does this mean? When I saw this picture earlier, the first thing I thought was Judon, who said, I do not want to throw temper tantrums. I do not want to make this a scene. I just want to get paid what I think I am worth. I saw this picture. I said, hey, buddy, that is what a temper tantrum looks like. This is what I look like when my boyfriend says no. We can't go get a Frosty from Wendings. This is what I look like when my mom says no. You can't get that new pair of shoes. I sit and I pout. And that's what Matthew Judon looked like during the first day of Patriots training camp in full pads. Not to mention the latest update and the videos that I have personally seen was Matthew Judon, who was not dressed at all, was seen having very, very animated conversations with Gerard Mayo, which allowed him to stand up from sitting on the trash cans to get face-to-face -face with Gerard Mayo. He also talked with Elliot Wolf, and then he was seen leaving the practice field after a very heated discussion with Elliot Wolf, and he didn't return. It's a distraction. It's a full-blown distraction at this point, and this is what we did not want with Matthew Judon and the New England Patriots. You did not want to put the emphasis on something negative while you are rebuilding, but it has. Drake May didn't have the best day in the first full day of pads. Jacoby Brissett, he had a fantastic day. Javon, Javon Baker, he's exploding when it comes to the offense. But right now, we're talking about Matthew Judon because that is the headline that he has created. And like I said, Matthew Judon said he would practice. He would participate. But after Jabril Pepper's contract extension, it seems like he's done. It seems like he's fed up because during the beginning half of training camp last week, he was wearing his jersey, he was wearing his shoulder pads, you know, he was wearing what everybody else was wearing. He was participating, not to the full extent, but more than he was today. But interesting that Jabril Peppers' contract extension comes over the weekend. Judon shows up Monday morning to work, not in the right attire. Not to mention, after Jabril Peppers' contract was solidified on Saturday, on Friday, I believe, on Friday, Devon Godchilds brought his agent to practice today. He was there the entire practice. He was actually seen talking to Godchild after practice, so it makes me think, all right, is this agent now going to go meet with Elliot Wolf and Gerard Mayo after practice? Why bring your agent there if he's not going to have some words with the front office? Now my wheels are really turning here. Are you telling me they might extend Devon Godchild? before Matthew Judon, because if they do, it is going to be bad for the Patriots. They might lose Judon for good. That's just my opinion, but the way he's acting right now doesn't look like he's going to be very happy if Devon Gotcha gets extended first. So, with my opinion out there, you guys do not have to agree with me, who do you think should be extended first? If you think it should be Matthew Judon, 
type MJ. If you think it should be DG, Devon Godshaw, go on ahead and type that down below. If you think neither should be extended, tell me why. If you think both should be, tell me why. This is why we have Patriots today by Chat Sports. I talk, give you my opinion. You guys talk, give me your opinion, and then we talk about it. But we also let you guys know the best way to go on ahead and buy tickets for any event near you or even across the country. This is what we're talking about today. Game Time. They do sponsor us here, but I've been using Game Time way before they became a sponsor because I just love the number one thing that they can provide that others cannot is the way that they show me exactly where I'm going to be sitting and what I will be seeing. I go to a lot of concerts. I go to a lot of sporting events. It's Super fun for me, especially in the summertime. If you put me at a country concert with a beer in my hand, I am living. That's why I use game time. Last-minute ticket deals and flash zone deals. They'll put in bright colors. Hey, I highly suggest going to this spot, taking this deal, using this way. Lowest prices guaranteed, and you get views from the seats. So if you guys want to go see the Houston, Houston Astros play at Fenway Park, not this week, but next, go on ahead, use game time and see what tickets you guys can get. As you guys can see, the lowest ticket right now for Game 3 in this series, $72. And it's not that bad sitting in the outfield. I personally like sitting in the outfield when I go to ball games. Why? Because you got sluggers on your team. Gives you a better chance of just getting to see the entire field and possibly catching a home run. If you can't make it to the Astros game, don't worry. They've got all of the games even tonight with the Mariners at the Red Sox. You guys can go get your tickets right now on game time. All you have to do is download the app, create an account, and use promo code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. That's going to get you $20 off your first purchase while terms do apply. Nothing is better than getting the best deals and getting $20 off if you use our promo code CHATSPORTS. And that way you guys can forever use game time. It's the only one I use, the only app I have on my phone to get concert tickets, event tickets, and all that fun jazz. So go on ahead and try it out. This has to be a hold-in. This has got to be the definition of a hold-in, what Matthew Judon is now doing. I have heard reports, C.D. Lamb. I've heard reports, Jamar Chase. I have heard reports of several players in the NFL who are at practice handing out water bottles, handing out towels, but they're not participating. Matthew Judon walked onto the field. He played catch with a fan in the stands, and that was all he did in terms of participation today, the first full day in pads. He showed up wearing a T-shirt a hat, and slide sandals. That does not look like an edge rusher that is ready to go. Not to mention, in the same facet, Devon Godchow showed up to practice a little bit more dressed than Matthew Judon. He had his jersey, he had his shoulder pads, didn't have his thigh pads, didn't have his leg pads, and he had his helmet. That, so Devon Godchow actually did participate today. Not to the full extent, but he was very active in drills, and he was working out. Matthew Judon, we can't say the same. But like I said, Devon also had his agent there. So he had something to benefit him. He had a little bit of a leverage here in day five of training camp. And here's what the statement had to say, the Boston Herald talking about Godchild's agent and why he was there. And the Rosenhaus brothers spoke to Patriots director of player personnel, Matt Groh, in the friends and family area before Robin Glasser, the Patriots EVP, football business and senior advisor to the head coach, joined the discussion. After the chat was over, Jason Rosenhaus was led to the facility by a Patriots scout. So God Child's agent has been in and out of the Patriots facilities all day long between talking with Devon at practice, talking with the front office. So it seems like this is the home stretch. Not to mention, he's already voiced his displeasure with the New England Patriots and how they have handled his contract situation, but he's still practiced. So I don't think Devon's holding in. I think Matthew Judon's holding in. That's the difference. And here's what Devon had to say about the New England Patriots' current contract that he does have right now, saying it's frustrating. I'm going to leave it to my agent, let Drew handle it. He's been doing it for a long time, and he's got my best interest. So I'm going to control what I can control. But it's frustrating playing for no guaranteed money. But I'm going to put it in Drew's hands. I've been consistent throughout my eight years in the league, and I just want to be rewarded. So that's why his agent was there. Like I said, I'm really nervous for the Patriots if they do decide to extend Devon Godshaw ahead of Matthew Judon. I think it's going to be bad news for Elliot Wolf and the Pats, and it may not be your best move in the New England Patriots fan base to not extend Judon 
before Devon Godchow, knowing they love Judon. He is a defensive menace. He's a leader in the locker room. And it seems like he's already distraught because of Jabril Pepper's extension. I don't know how this is going to play out, but it may be ugly. So, with that being said, give me your one-word reaction to Judon holding in at training camp. Mine's disappointing. I really believed him when he said he wasn't going to throw a tantrum and he was going to go out there and play on the contract that he was under, but he's not playing. He's not practicing. This is where you have to get better. This is where you learn what you need, especially with Christian Barmore, who's unfortunately dealing with blood clots right now. You need the defense to be stronger than ever, and you've got two players who are not giving you anywhere close to 50% of effort. It's disappointing, man. But let me know what you guys think. As always, if anything happens, any extensions, any updates, we've got you right here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. So all you have to do is subscribe.